Hi there guys, a very good evening to you all. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to another uh, wine review by myself, The Natural Sommelier. Today we're going to be heading to one of my favourite wine regions in the entire world actually. It's a region that I've visited more than any other. Uh, we're going to be heading to the Loire Valley. The Loire Valley for me holds a very special place uh, in my sort of wine memories and in my heart. Uh, my father and I have been there more times than I care to mention. And it's really where my interest in particular of a grape variety called Cabernet Franc uh, which is local to that particular area and that particular part of northern France actually spawned and where it all um, sort of started and came from, okay? We're going to be heading to a little town in the middle of the Loire Valley called Chinon. For those who don't know, Chinon is a small medieval town based on the river, of, uh, uh, on the, um, river Loire itself and it is the quintessential uh, French sort of medieval market town, you know, castle on the top of the hill, medieval market streets, vineyards sprawling absolutely everywhere. It's an extraordinary place to go and visit and I would highly, highly, highly recommend going, okay? So today we're going to be tasting a bottle of Chinon that I've never tried before, um, but I'm really excited to try this. This is the 2015 Domaine de la Marine uh, Le um as I said, the 2015 vintage. Um, it's owned by the Des Bordes, uh family, and these guys have been actually been farming here since 1965, okay? They now um, currently own 14 hectares uh, within sort of the Chinon area, which is quite a significant amount. Chinon is in a very big place. If you ever go and see it, you'll see it. It's a very, very, very small, condensed part of France, uh, part of France even. The vineyards themselves, however, were created in around 1999. Okay, and as I said, this is 100% Cabernet Franc, also known in this part of the world, Breton, for those who are a little bit geeky like myself, okay. The estate became uh, certified organic in 2018, when Renaud des uh, son Boris, uh, joined and started pushing the estate towards organic viticulture and all this kind of stuff, uh, which is really exciting. It's what we like to see and what we like to hear, a bit of uh, you know, sustainability, etc. So this particular Cabernet Franc has been made from 80-year-old vines, which is incredible, okay? It's been vinified without any form of electricity, so everything's been done by hand. There's no artificial um, sort of anything being added to it. And as I say, it was produced and then aged in three barrels, three French barrels, and it's been limited to around 1,500 bottles, okay, 1,500 bottles, which is absolutely minuscule, okay. Um, native yeasts were used uh, for the uh, fermentation, and very little sulfur uh, was added into it as well. You could almost sort of call it borderline natural wine. I think I'm probably going to have to decant it, but I'm going to give it a cheeky taste first, got a glass ready, and let's see what it tastes like, shall we? So Cabernet Franc for me is, uh, in my view, the quintessential um, French red wine, mainly because the um, styles of wine you get from Cabernet Franc, the aromas are very, can almost be so very, very farmyardy. Um, they have this dry fruit character. There's a lot of, um, you know, sort of earthy characteristics, which I really, really, really enjoy. Um, but let me have a little smell and um, we'll see what we think, yeah? Oh, it's beautiful. And this is exactly what I thought it was going to be. It's the reason I love Cabernet Franc so much. So this wine is really, really screaming of Chinon, you know what I mean? It has that sort of deep scented, crunchy red fruit character. There's a lovely bramble, earthy, almost Pericin character. Pericin is that, um, it's, it's, it's a, 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 almost sort of a green, leafy aroma that's very, very typical of uh, Cabernet Franc. Another grape you often find it in, uh, fun fact, is uh, Sauvignon Blanc. There we go, fun fact of the evening. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful, it really, really is. But I'm also picking up these lovely aromas of things like sort of, uh, you know, sort of like dried flowers and things like that as well. There's that sort of mushroom, turned earth, clay kind of aroma to it as well. The oak isn't too evident, which I really like. I think it's more about the fruit in these styles of wine, which is as it should be. I'm definitely going to need to decant it though, that's for sure. Let's have a little taste. Mmm. Yeah, 
So the wine itself is quite, <laughs> there's a lot going on there, but being such a typical Cabernet Franc, it's very dry, it's very acidic, and it has this lovely dried fruit, herbal kind of character to it. It's just pure bliss. It really, really, really is. I'm seriously impressed with this. This is what happens when Cabernet Franc ages, uh, and they often get better. I often find with their, when they age. I often find with Cabernet Franc that when they're young, they can be a little bit too austere. And people often get put off by them because they're so austere. Me, I love them when they're a little bit older, when they're starting to show their true colours. They're just delicious. And they work wonders with food people. Try them. Try, 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 try. If you don't want to go for a Chinon, some other parts of that particular part of the Loire Valley, places like Bordeaux, saint Nicolas de Bordeaux, Saumur, Saumur Champigny, all make fantastic Cabernet Francs as well. So definitely worth a go. This particular wine is available through a, a company called Smashing Wines. Definitely check them out on their website, Smashing Wines, A and M, uh, A, uh, sorry, S A A S M A S H I N G Wines. Uh, and it's available from them online for £32.90, which, yes, I know may seem a lot, but you're paying for something that is screaming of the terroir, it's screaming of the place in which it's made, and in my view, for a little special treat, it's definitely worth it, guys. Um, don't also forget to uh, check myself out at The Natural Sommelier on my Instagram page, and my website, which seems to be updated with lots of exciting new articles, and some new wine reviews on those rather natural sommelier.com. I hope to hear you, um, see you clicking that subscribe button um, to get our monthly newsletter as well. Until next time, cheers.